What's it, Gannon lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. Another Icon Swaps 2 review, and you guys, you know what the the deal is now. We review the players in Icon Swaps 2 over there for a cheap amount of tokens, five, six. We will do them. Don't worry about that. Or the the max amount, which I think this today is 23. So we're gonna review it at the end of the day and see if this Prime Icon is worth saving, basically, because you guys know you either save your tokens, get the max amount, or you split your tokens up, get one, two, maybe three players. So that is the options you have. But with Michael SCN, you're going to have to save every single token. So that's why I want to review them today, lads. And if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that hype, smash that like, and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Make sure you check out the socials, Marshall89YT on the Instagram, Marshall89HD on the Twitter. Make sure you check them out. Both links are in the description below. And before you are wondering what's wrong with my eye, I've got like a cut on the inside boys i don't know what it is i've got on the inside it's swollen my eye up and i woke up this morning literally like that so i could barely see a bloody thing but um yeah i've got a bad eye boys a bad eye in terms of michael scn he will play be playing as a cdm in a 4-2-3-1 because um alongside cm in a 4-1-2-1-2 i believe that's his best position now 4-1-2-1-2 isn't that effective for me right now 4-4-2 would be effective with scn and center mids but i thought you know what Let's try him with CDM and let's see what he copes like in that position. In terms of SEN, you guys might know him from Real Madrid. You might know him from Milan. But me, I know him from Chelsea. Chelsea is where this guy made his name. He made his name at Lyon before he went to Chelsea, but mainly at Chelsea. You remember the, the goal against the Arsenal, lads? That was absolutely incredible. So this is what SEN is kind of known for. He was a tough tackler and, um, yeah, very aggressive midfielder where he was very combatant. He went every ch single challenge he went in for. And he had a shot on him, man. He had a great strike on him. And, uh, yeah, the shot power he just generated was nuts. Now, in terms of the player bio and whatnot, he's got high and high work rates. He's like literally like real life. He's like an engine in that midfield. That's what chem style that would be used in the day as well. And he's up, he's down, he's sideways, he's left ways. He's there literally everywhere, boys. He covers a lot of the ground in the game, as he did in real life. He's right foot primarily, but he does have a four star weak foot, so that doesn't really matter. Five foot ten in terms of height, and um, he's not bad in the air, man. In terms of jumping, it's 84, so he's really, really not that bad in the air. And of course, he's got three star skills. Now, in terms of his tribute details, you're looking at 87 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, so he is very fast in this game, and he's very quick to close players down. Acceleration is nuts, and that is very, very important to accelerate to close players down, to get in their faces, to uh, make things uncomfortable for them. And um, it's a massive benefit to having a Michael Lesson in your, in your team. I can't even say that, Mike. Michael Lesson in your team. Uh, yeah, it's a massive benefit, lads. It really is. And the sprint speed as well, if he um, accelerates, he maintains that pace. 84 sprint speed is very, very good, especially for a CDM slash centre midfield, that box to box roll. Uh, 87 attack position, 87 shot power. Like I was saying, his shot power is very good in real life, and it is reflected over in the game. 86 long shots as well, but I didn't really get in the positions to um, take those long strikes, I need to say that. Shot pass is very good, 91. His long pass is 86. His vision is only 73, uh, with a curve at 67. I see 73 in vision. I'm literally, my eye is killing his voice. It is 78. In terms of dribbling, 75 agility, 88 eight balance, 84 reactions, 88 ball control, 78 dribbling. His dribbling isn't the best in the world, and that needs to be reflected in his cons today because um, he's not a good dribbler, lads. He really isn't a good dribbler. He's very lethargic in his dribble, he's very lazy in his dribble, and he's very robotic in his dribble. He's got 85 composure, defending his where it's at with his card alongside the physical. 93 interceptions. 7500 accuracy, doesn't matter whatsoever that starts. 90 defensive awareness, 92 stand tackle, 91 slide tackle. Now, if you combine, combine? Honestly, lads, what's wrong with me there? Combine or use a combination of the interceptions, the stand tackle, defensive awareness, slide tackle, and the aggression and strength, 87 and 89 respectively, you have one hell of a midfielder on your hands with 94 stamina. Lads! Let's get the gameplay highlights with Michael Essien. So here we go. Now in terms of the highlights with Michael Essien, there wasn't too many. Played eight games in total, but there wasn't too many. And you might be asking, how does that happen? He played eight games, how does he not have many highlights? He's one of those midfielders that goes around, does his job, and he does it well. He does it effectively, but he's no nonsense. He's not going to get the ball. He's not going to take it past five plays. He's not going to hit a long shot from 55 yards and scream it in the top corner. He tackles. Recycles possession, and that is it. He, he's, he does his job. He does his job on this game. He's a great box-to-box -box midfielder. He's a great CDM, and so his tackling is one of the key pros for me. Just He gets in there, he wins the ball back, recycles possession, as you just seen there in the clip, and uh, we go forward and we attack. It allows you to uh, be... Um, 
What's the word for it? Uh, playful going forwards. It allows you or your four attackers in this case because four two three one allowed my Ram, Cam, Lamb, and Striker to do what they want. Because honestly. You win the ball back and then you could just go forward and just do as you please and just play to the breeze. It was just that good with Michael Essien in the team. I played the final eight games the weekend league with him in the team. It, just, it was easy, man. It was easy. Now, I did lose a couple of games, but honestly, Michael Essien made things a lot easier because Sissoko would sit there. He would sit there. Essien would run around. He'd buzz around like a bee and he'd win the ball back nearly every single time. So that's what I loved about the card in general. So in terms of the pros, we've got the pace. Acceleration, the close plays down and top speed in general is very, very good. Great pace on the card. Sensational. The aggression. The aggression is probably key with Michael Essien on this game period because his aggression makes the card or the player the player is in game. His aggression is 87. That is nuts. That is bonkers. That is crazy. What, do you, what it allows him to do is win those 50-50 challenges. It allows him to close place down quickly and reduce the amount of space, time, and um, just position in the pitch they're allowed to have. And he does this very, very well. You see the ball here. He really intercepts the ball very, very well. Except the interceptions, by the way, are sensational because it covers that much amount of ground that he's going to intercept the ball one time or the other. And he does that nearly all the time as uh, my opponent does go on the attack there and who's there again SEM with a tackle love that in terms of the tackling by the way it's made up by his 92 stand tackle and 87 aggression and his strength 89 I can't like dispute uh, dispute his strength whatsoever it's incredible so um, yeah his stamina is very good in this game too his stamina is crazy at 94 high high work rates requires a lot of stamina in this game he's got 94 so that is a pro his ball control is definitely a pro but he's dribbling and is not his ball control his first touch is 88 and um, it's under his spell every single time but he can't dribble he can't dribble to save his life now I know you're going to argue uh, you put an engine cam style on it boosts his agility boosts his dribbling surely he's not bad at the dribble he wasn't good. He wasn't good. And if he's not good, I've got to say, he wasn't good. Uh, so his dribbling's just not there with the card whatsoever. So that would be my kind of um, warning flag for this card. If you, you look at the dribble with a midfielder on this game, go for someone like Allen. Allen is a good box-to-box. -box. He's a good CDM. And um, he's a great dribbler in general because he's got four-star skills. He's got good dribbling in, uh, in certain aspects of his game. SEN does not. He just does not. Even though his stats could suggest that he does, he needs some WD-40 on his hinges, man, on his joints, because he just doesn't move very freely. And in terms of passing, again, it's very simple. He does the straight passes very well. 91 short pass, vision is on the low side, 86 long pass, but he does it very well. He does it simply, and that's what I would describe this card as. Simple, but effective. Lads, let's get into the overall rating. Simple, but effective. Is that worthy of a 23 tokens? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Now, this is a prime that's going to stay with you for the entirety of the game. It's going to come in like three months, two months, in terms of getting this card in general. That's a long time to wait. It's a long time to wait. You're not going to see any instant benefit from like, getting the card literally now. It's going to be a long wait to get an SEN. Now, this could be in the shape of, when's the current season end? Is it like um, 12 days time or 13 days time? I'm not too sure when it ends. It's actually 11 days time, four hours, boys. So um, you're gonna have to wait at least 11 days to get the next set of options for this card. Should it go on another season and uh, push into the likes of March and stuff like that? It's, it's gonna be a ridiculous wait time to get this SEN. Is he an endgame card? I would argue so, I would argue so, but um, yeah, for me, he's, he's simple but effective, simple but effective, so who else is simple but effective on this game? Musa Sissoko is, uh, who else is simple effective? Uh, Patrick Vieira is, there's loads of similar similar cards to Michael Essien on this game, so he's simple but effective. In terms of his overall rating, it's a good one, 9.3, he's not got too much wrong with this card, he's a phenomenal card at that, and he does get a 9.3, and his abilities reflect that as well. In terms of his value for coins, this is literally for the coins, 1.7 million on the Xbox, 2.1 on the PlayStation, would I pay that again for an SEN? No, I would not, he's getting a 7.5 in that. Um, yes, somewhat, he plays to those kind of price tags upon his name, but um, he isn't that good. Compared to his other cards in this game, he isn't that good, if you know what I'm saying. He is great, he's sensational, but he's not that price. He should be like um, a lot less than that. Now you look at his 85, his 85 is good, it's not quite as good as this one. You look at his 87, it's good, but it's not quite as good as this one. I'm saying quite, because there is minimal, minimal margins. Not in terms of stats, just in terms of in-game performance, because they've all got the aggression. They've all got the high, high work rates, they've all got the tackling, they all do the exact same job, lads. So, um, I wouldn't rush out and, like, focus your mind on Nessian, I wouldn't do that, I really, really wouldn't. So, in terms of life coins, in terms of 23 icon swap tokens, no. I'm gonna say no, because, um, 
I just don't believe he's worth that, man. You can get a couple of for the here and now. That could be worth it, but Michael Essien for me... I'm surprised to say this as well, because honestly, I'm a big fan of Michael Essien in this game. Um, I believe the second this would come out, I'd get this Michael Essien. Now, I'm starting to second think myself, uh, second guess myself, so to speak. And um, I'm probably going to go Zan Brotter and someone else, um, to be honest, lads. In terms of the enjoyment rate, he's got getting an 8.8 .8 for myself. He's a fully enjoyable card that recycles position all the time, but he doesn't do anything spectacular, if you know what I'm saying. In terms of jump status, he would be a starter every single bloody match. Games played, 8 goals, 0, and assists, he got the 1. He got an 8.2, 7.7, and an 8.3 in his first 3 games out of the 8. In terms of links, icons linked to everybody on the game, so it doesn't matter. In terms of token ideas, um, SEM? That's it, because you can't get any, uh, um, you can't get two players if you do get SEN, you can't get literally anybody else if you do get an SEN, so it'll be SEN and SEN only. In terms of Key Pro, we'll, 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 I'll start it again. In terms of Key Pro, will be uh, his box-to-box -box abilities, and um, yeah, it's definitely Key Pro. Keycon will be the dribbling, he's very static in his dribble, he's very uh, robotic, like I did say during the gameplay. In terms of best game style, would be Engine, listen them to a 92 CDM, and 90 centre midfielder, right back, and 90 right wing back as well. Obviously, left back and left wing back to uh, 89 centre back. So, again, his defensive abilities and in, in general, his tackle and stuff like that are sensational. In terms of the best box to box midfielder on the game, in terms of the icons, Hullet and then SEN. And in terms of Ghanaians, SEN would lead the way. In terms of passing, Seven, shooting seven, dribbling seven, and the physicality of aggression, strength, stuff like that is in nine out of ten. It is sublime with an SEN. So, lads, to summarize, would I get the tokens and get a Michael SEN? Yes. Should I do that? No. Um, honestly, lads, if you're going to sweat like the whole of these uh, icon sub tokens and get the full 24, a lot of tokens, SEN could be well your man. But honestly, lads, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's very difficult. I, honestly, to say yes or no bluntly, it would be maybe. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to choose yes or no, it would be a no. Simple as that. But lads, hope you have enjoyed this review today. If you have, once again, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. I do apologize for getting my, my words mixed up or anything during the review. My eye's very bad right now, so uh, I'm taking medication for that as of this morning. So um, it's going to be a bit doodally, to be honest, lads. But... Hopefully my eyes better by the next video. I doubt it will be because I'm hoping my next video will be tonight. Lads, if you have enjoyed, smash a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.